Hey guys, it's Paul the Jazzman with Big Easy Modeling Solutions here with another sneak preview and walkthrough of a great new product from BIMS. And I always get really excited when I get to introduce new products to you that we've developed for what is personally my favorite ship, the Refit Enterprise from the original cast movie series in the uh, 80s era. And I'm even more excited this time to be introducing our Refit Admiral series, which, as many of you know, the Admiral series is our top of the line fully featured lighting and effects systems. Next year, 2019, also marks the 40th anniversary of the release of Star Trek The Motion Picture, which of course introduced us to the beautifully redesigned and refit Enterprise model that would be seen throughout the original cast movie series. With the release of our new Admiral series for the refit, we wanted to commemorate that by making this the TMP 40th anniversary edition. So as you'll see with this demonstration, this board and kit will feature many of the sounds and music from Star Trek The Motion Picture to immerse you in that particular film. There are clips from some of the other movies as well, but we wanted to feature that one in particular to commemorate the 40th anniversary. So without further ado, let's plug in the board and take a look at the control system. We're going to plug it in and the first thing you'll hear is the introduction sound and then you will hear the overture from Star Trek the motion picture playing in the background and there's the overture so we wanted to immediately put you in that film so the next thing to do will be to initialize the board as you notice none of the lights are on at this point so we need to initialize the board itself We'll do that by pressing the power button and when we do that you'll see the interior lights come up to the bottom right and then the shuttle bay optional shuttle bay board will power up if you have that installed and at this point the only two things you can control are the intensity of the interior lighting again at the bottom right of the board there and you can also switch the shuttle bay board off and on. Um, it takes a while to adjust the intensity, but uh, there's 255 settings and the remote has a repeat function that cycles through all of them and it takes a little while sometimes to do that because the remote repeats a little slow. Um, but you can adjust to a very precise setting. As you can see, you can turn it all the way off and then you can power it back up so that you have scale lighting. You can have the interior set to whatever brightness you'd like. And once again, you can turn off the shuttle bay board and then turn it back on. So the next step uh, is to actually power up the ship and start the startup sequence from Star Trek The Motion Picture. And uh, as you can see, all the other buttons are locked out until we do that. And we'll do that by pressing zero here. So we'll do that. And I'm gonna try to sync it up with the video so that you can actually uh, see how well the board syncs up. It's really hard to get this exactly timed, but we'll try to do it here and see what happens. And we'll see how close we can get. So here is the startup sequence. Right now, both the video and the soundboard are playing sounds. Um, this is so you can hear it, that it may not exactly sync up, so uh, I think the board may be just a little bit ahead but we'll see how this works out. It'll be close enough to get the idea. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see is right at the bottom, the pylons. The board and the cells, yeah, the board's a little bit ahead. The neck, the thrusters, and the aft, the Raytheon. That's what we saw the sensor and saucer. And of course, the deflector ramps up. And then the navigation and strobe lights power up as well. So all of that syncs up really well with the movie, and of course we have the accurate color reflector. And we spent hours with uh, that first frame when it powers up right at the end, trying to get the color exactly matched as well as we can. Of course, it somewhat changes color a little bit depending on what filter they use, so in the next shot when you see it coming forward, it might look a little bit more pink in the film. Um, but we wanted to go ahead and match it to the close-up shot because we thought that was the best way to go. Uh, 
and it's still really close anyway to the far shots. Yeah, it looks a little lighter and pinker there. That has to do with the, the filtering. extended this sound clip from uh, the Tier 2 V2 version, which many of you may recall was the previous Admiral series that we had, and that board was developed by our good friend William Min at Cutting Edge Electronic Controls, and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Uh, now we're going to see clip here, and then Scotty's going to tell Captain Kirk that the impulse engines are available, and you see down here in the bottom right, Impulse engine will power up in time with the clip here. Intermix set bridge. Impulse power at your discretion. Impulse power system. And then we turn off the video because it ends right there. But here comes the impulse engine. And you'll hear the clip. There you go, the sound in the clip, and then the impulse engine moves up in time with that. So again, on the Tier 2 V2, this board was originally designed to be just an upgrade to that to incorporate the new deflector, uh, but it turned into, ironically, an 18-month refit and redesign of the entire board. So this is an almost totally new enterprise. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a closer look at the board and the features. So I'm going to zoom in here, we're going to take a break, and uh, I'll come back and show you close-ups of the features of the board. So sit tight. Oh, as you can see, we changed the deflector there to blue, so you can see that transition. Sit tight, we'll come back and show you the board up close and personal. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, we've zoomed in on the board uh, to show the features up close. And let's take a look at these and what they are. Right here you have the interior lighting that you saw ramp up at the beginning. Then we have the impulse engines right next to it is the warp engine, which we'll see in a moment. Then you have the weapons, phasers, photon torpedoes, and then all of the individual spotlights that you saw come on during the startup sequence. And uh, then we have the navigation and strobe lights and the optional shuttle bay board if you decide to purchase that feature. Uh, this one is not actually a big easy shuttle bay board. This is an old one we used to offer, um, but we're doing a new upgraded version soon. And of course you have the deflector over here. So let's walk through some of the features. Um, this is the BIMS remote control. We have 20 some odd buttons here, 21 buttons. That one don't use, that's the setup button. Um, but the power button, if you hit this, it'll reset the board back to the beginning so you can start over. And then each one of the numbers here are going to be assigned to some of the spotlights. So you can toggle those off and on. As you can see, one, two, three. And then the planetary sensor and bridge spotlights are together on one. And the e-hole spotlights. Now we can also toggle the navigation and strobe lights off and then back on and then you can also like we saw earlier toggle the shuttle bay off and on so let's have a look at some of the other controls as well zero will now control the deflector so after you do the startup sequence you can control the deflector we saw a transition earlier uh, but again here's the transition back to the standby mode and then back to the active blue mode. Now let's deal with the impulse engines. <clears throat> oh, up and down here we'll also adjust the interior lights as we saw before. Now the impulse engines, we have five settings. Um, this is new to the board, so it defaults to half impulse, but now we're going to power it up to three quarters, and then power it up to full, and you'll hear a sound every time you do that. And then we can power it back down <coughs> with the other button here. You'll hear it come down and power down. And you can go all the way back down to half, then one quarter, and then all the way down to off. And every time you hit it, the button, you'll hear it power down. So let's power it back up to half impulse, and then we're going to talk about the warp mode for a moment. So 
will enter the warp mode by pressing the mute button and the impulse engines are tied into the warp engines. So you'll see the impulse engines powered down and the warp engine power up and you'll hear the sound effect that corresponds with it. So here we go into warp mode. And you can see the warp engines which would obviously be on strip lighting in your model most likely are slowly powering up. You can use blue or you can use violet. And there are two warp modes. The first one, first time you go into warp you hear Sulu in this longer version. Uh, you'll see the second version in just a moment. Big flash, we're in warp. And then we go into uh, the warp mode. We just stay there, which is new to this board. So uh, you can stay in warp mode and then We'll transition here back to impulse mode by hitting the same button. So the mute button that took us to warp is also how you get out of warp and back to impulse mode. And you'll see the warp engine power down and hear a, a sound coming out of warp and you'll see the impulse engines power up. There we go, pretty cool. And now we're in impulse mode and uh, now you can control the impulse engines again. When you're in warp mode, the impulse engine uh, controls are locked out because you don't want the impulse engines on during warp mode. And the deflector was also locked out. So <clears throat> what happens if we're powered down on the impulse engines all the way to off and we have the deflector at standby mode and we go into warp? Because theoretically in warp mode, we need to be in uh, a blue deflector so now when we go to warp mode, uh, you won't hear the impulse engines power down and the deflector will immediately transition to blue so that we're in warp mode. And this is the second warp mode, uh, which actually from here on out, it's always the, the second version which is shorter. As you notice, there's no sewer on this one. You just get the ramp up and the flash. So. And you notice the impulse engines did not come on that time, or did not power down, I'm sorry. And uh, now when we exit, warp engines power down, impulse back in, all right? So the impulse engine sound powering down will only happen if you have it on uh, one quarter to full. Now let's look at the weapons, phasers first. There we go, with the correct phaser sound, we'll do it again. All right, moving on to the photon torpedoes. We've upgraded this sound as well. And get that nice ramp up and flash effect. And then finally, we're going to use the number 9 button here to cycle through some of the sound effects and music. So when you first hit it, you hear the ambient bridge sound, uh, just as an automatic return to that from the weapons. And then you start to hear some other sound effects. We have some transporters and you know, different alerts. And then after you get through those, you'll hear the intro music to Star Trek the Motion Picture. This is where the 40th anniversary edition really commemorates the movie because from that point on you can cycle through pretty much the entire story of Star Trek the motion picture uh, is included on this board so uh, you get to kind of listen and check in on all of that cool stuff after you finish that movie there's a couple of sound bites from uh, the second movie and there's some music from the third as well um, but we really wanted to focus this particular system on Star Trek The Motion Picture. We will be releasing a Wrath of Khan edition as well. And I dare say you won't have to wait until the 40th anniversary for that one. Um, but uh, hopefully later this year, maybe. Um, but in the meantime, uh, this one is obviously, once again, geared for the motion picture to commemorate that 40th anniversary. And we'll just cycle through a few of these sounds. And as we're doing that, um, we will say thank you very much for checking out the video and hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, hope that you're, you're looking forward to 
including this really cool kit into some of your magnificent builds. Uh, looking forward to seeing some pictures and videos of, of those completed models with this effects kit in them. Uh, we always enjoy seeing our client videos. And as we're closing out here and listening to some of the sounds, I just want to say thank you very much to William Mann at Cutting Edge Electronic Controls for the original design and inspiration of the Tier 2 V2 SFX B board, which uh, this has turned into this new uh, board project here. Uh, he also did the circuit board design, which uh, this was originally, again, designed to be an upgrade of the Tier 2, so we kept the same board for now, and uh, you can just pop the new chip on, and now you have all these new features. Now, if you've already got your model built, uh, you can't really do that because of the new deflector mainly. Um, however, if you haven't built your model yet and you want to upgrade to this system, you have the old Tier 2 system and uh, you'd like to upgrade, give us a call or send us an email and we can reprogram a chip for you and you can pop the old one off and pop the new one on and uh, you'll have this new version. Um, same remote control, same everything else. You'll, you will also need a new sound card. So, uh, there will be a small uh, fee for that. And we fire the phasers there just to kind of end that sound effect. If you ever get stuck in a long sound effect and need to shut it off, you can either use the volume control uh, to turn it off or turn it down, or you can just exit out of it really quick with the phasers. So here's a couple more of the sound effects. And uh, also want to say thank you to my business partners, uh, Mike and Chris and Amy. Uh, thanks for your patience and for your input and uh, helping me come up with some ideas for this thing. And thanks to Kevin for being patient. Uh, I hope you really enjoy your version of this board. And uh, thanks to all of the rest of you who have been waiting for this upgrade for your patience and support. So as we're closing out, I just want to say, uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, check us out at www.bimseffects.com. Our old website, www.bigeasymodelingsolutions, also works. Um, you can use either address and find us there and find this kit uh, sometime in this next coming week. It should be listed up there. And, uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. Happy modeling. We'll see you next time. Thanks also to Alex Beard for the great introduction music and the composition and for letting us use it as kind of our new big easy theme song. So take care everybody. See you next time. Happy morning.